Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. It's me. It's been a while. How are you guys doing? Hi. I missed you guys. I missed streaming. <laughs> now that I'm doing this, I says you showed me a game, and I'm like, well, shoot, now I gotta stream that too. Hi, survivors. Hi. It's good to see you. I know you said you were coming, but still. It's always good to have you here. How you, how you doing today? Let's see. I was gonna do something. Yeah, for some reason I, I kind of forgot that this, like... I, I kind of thought that this was going to be harder to set up, but I guess it's not, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I miss doing this a lot. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Good, good. Um, doing pretty good. I mean, I've been kind of stressed out lately, but um, you know, got hit with some got hit with some good news and doing a lot better about it now. Um, work's still exhausting. I maybe this whole janitor thing. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> I heard Costco's hiring though. I'm kind of looking at that. There we go. Yeah, we always love good news. Good news is good. What can I say? There we go. That looks good, I think. Alright, I was just fixing. For some reason, the chat completely disappeared on one of my game screens. Oh, I have, I also have, okay, so speaking of good news and how good news is good, um, totally just figured out how to hear the audio for my Switch. So now I can hear the audio when I play the game. This whole time I've been playing all these Switch games without the audio. So, uh, I just found out how to fix that. So I feel really good about that. I'm really excited, especially since the music in this game is pretty good. At least if I remember right, because I, I think my, my dad played this like a couple years back. Um, like maybe two years. Um, and I, I, yeah, I don't remember much about it or how to solve any of the puzzles. So I, I, don't, I don't think I'd be considered cheating now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't think I'd be like cheating or anything. So uh I think we'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, I got it all set up. I, I I can hear the audio. Um I'm I'm I am i am i am honestly kind of embarrassed that it took so long to uh to figure that out. <laughs> but there you know, there we are, I guess. Alright, let's switch over to the game. Do 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 Move. I'll get the game set up for me right here. Heck yeah. There we go. Alright. Whoa, why is it why does the chat look like that? Oh whoops. I'll fix it. <laughs> the chat's like hiding. It's like hiding, hiding. There we go. I'll scoot it up just a little bit. There we go. Maybe make it just a little tinier. I don't think it needs to be so big.
I'll just put it here in the corner. Perfect. Cool, cool. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay. Let's go! It's Mar- it's- no, Mario, it's Luigi time! Yeah, I, I- I never played the first game, um, I never played, um, like, the original- Yeah, the original first game, and I never played the second one, but my parents keep telling me the second one's really good. Um, I'd love to fig- I'd love to get my DS hooked up one of these days. <laughs> Luigi time! It's Luigi time! All right. I hope the I hope the game is loud enough. Oh, it looks kind of quiet. All right. Please, please, please let me know if the game is super duper quiet or if it's uh too loud. You're only familiar with the first one. Okay. Oh, you so said you've never seen the third one, like, at all? At all? Here. Uh, I think it's a little too quiet now that I'm hearing it. I think it already know it's too quiet, I mean. This could be just the game. This could just be, like, Maybe the screen is just really quiet, but uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll see. We'll see. Wink. It sounds like a fan in the background. That's not good. Um. Like, the game audio is weird. Yeah, it's it sounds really weird for me, too, on my earbuds. Like, if I take... But see, here's the thing. If I take that out, then the audio is gone. Yeah, if I do that, then the audio is gone. Um, shoot. Yeah, so we have to make many sacrifices, unfortunately. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought I had this figured out, but I guess not. Um, well, shoot, now we just don't have audio like at all, so that's fun and exciting. I guess we just ignore it, I guess. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, this is a predicament that we have ourselves in right now. Hi, Groovy Bears. Hi. We're having audio difficulties because, of course, we do. Because, of course, we do. It was working just fine a minute ago, but then, like, I guess it sounded like a fan, like a like it sounded like a like a gross fan was was in the background. So now I gotta fix that. Ah. I guess we can't like I guess we can't stream without a little bit of scuff. I guess so. We'll figure it out. Well, shoot. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Is there anything different? Oh shoot, I forgot about my dog. She's outside. Um. Oh no. Mm. Scuff is just a part of the stream, bro. It'll be fine, boss. Oh, thank you. Hmm. This is, this is, this is silly! This is so silly. Mm. Oh shoot, I, I, I think I pressed something I didn't mean to. Can you, can you, can you recap the first two? Uh, oh yes, because there's such important plot points in the first and second one. The plot of Luigi's Mansion is very deep and convoluted. You just wouldn't get it, I guess. Uh, I think the first one, Mario gets, like, kidnapped, I think. No idea what happens in the second one. I think the second one takes place in, like, a... I, I I don't even know what the second one takes place in. I think it's got like a hundred floors. The second one's got like a hundred floors or something like that. Which is kind of cool. So the first one's a mansion. The second one's like a, just like a building with like a hundred different floors. And then the third one, I think, is a hotel. So that's, that's, that's all I know about the difference between all of them. <sighs> This is, this is embarrassing! Oh, there's the audio. I don't know what I did different, but there it is now. Alright. Communicate with me, fellas. Tell me if it's too loud, okay? Or if it's too quiet, if you need me to turn it up. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay. Unfortunately, that just means I won't be able to hear the audio. I'll have to go back and, and fix it later, you know? I'll just have to figure out what's, what's going wrong with it. But yeah, I found out I could do, like, Bluetooth and stuff, so I was like, No, you're good. I enjoy the stream. I think the volume is fine. Okay, perfect. Cool. Alright. Now we could get on with the debauchery. Bruh, that's so insane. How's he supposed to see? You can't even see the road. <laughs> There you go, you want a free mansion, but it's a scheme made by King Boo, okay? Mario gets ca captured, because he got the mansion first. Uh, Luigi just has up second, and... Okay, yeah. A free mansion? If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. 
If it's too good to be true, it's probably not, Luigi. I hope you would learn that by now. <laughs> Whoa. Toad is the best driver. Yeah, he's he's so good at driving, he doesn't even have to see the road to know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's a very good driver. He's a very good driver. Aw, so cute. I just love seeing the Mario characters just be characters, I guess. Like, almost be people. I don't know, like, they- a lot- in a lot of games, they kind of just exist. So I like this one, where they just- it just feels like they're people. <laughs> Toe crashes a bus and everyone dies. That's the plot to this one. The rest of this is actually, um, a- a allegory for, uh, purgatory. This is actually an allegory for the different levels of hell. But hey, that's just a theory. Mm, yeah, I have no clue what, what goes on in, in number two. I'm sure if my brother- I'm sure if my brother was with me though, he'd like make me feel real stupid about it. He's like, I can't believe you don't know what happens in the second one. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Oh, yeah. He's kind of slow. Lore guy, Pog. Yeah, I got my, I got my, um, yeah, it's my lore guy. Survivors is my canon lore guy. He's the lore keeper. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute. All I know is that the second one is where this ghost dog comes from, so... Um, yeah, that's where they came from. What's up, Peachy? Oh. This hotel is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. I don't know if I could do my toad voice. I could do my toad voice if I like drink something sugary. Here, come on. My W voice acting. Thank you, thank you. Herg, Princess Peach definitely didn't forget to pack anything. Definitely. Oh, Luigi, what's up? Oh no! Oh no! Get him out. <laughs> My head's stuck. I can't get out. <laughs> maybe I can help the maybe I can help the yellow toad. Do a deep voice for the toads. I've already established their voices. I have to I would maybe if the maybe the yellow one can have a deep voice. If the yellow one talks, I'll give him the deep voice. Because Yellow Toad is Pog. <laughs> what are you doing, Step Toad? <laughs> it looks like you haven't checked in yet. Please make your way to the front desk. It's right over there. Oh, wow. That guy is so human. That guy is... Look at He's like... Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like... Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> these guys feel so human. It's it's crazy. These are the most. These are definitely the humans of all time. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, Mario. Welcome, guests, to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? Oh, wait, did I, did I accidentally say I wasn't ready? Because I am ready. I'm ready to check in. I've seen all I need to see. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to check in. Sorry, I just clicked- I just clicked a button. I didn't even see that there was a prompt for some reason. Guests, welcome to the last resort. My name is Ellen Gravely. Hmm, that's a very human name. It's, that's so human. And I am the owner of this hotel. I am absolutely delighted that you decided to accept my invitation. Love her hair. She's, she's got- she's, she's got that hair game, for real. You all must be very tired. Come, allow me to show you to your rooms. Dude, the animations in this is, are so good. Like, so good. No need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. 5-9 versus 6 foot. <laughs> Hi, Flint. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hey, how are you doing? You're our VIPs after all. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, holy shit, lady. Oh, whoops. Duh. I gotta, I gotta fix that. We've prepared a first-rate experience for you. All the travings of luxury. Shall we get going? Stew. <laughs> Dude, she wants she wants Luigi for real. She, I don't know. She's she's getting awfully uncomfortably close. Dude, I I swore I swore that her hair was gonna hit the was gonna hit the door. I am actually kind of amazed that it didn't, because that would be such a funny gag. Oh yeah. I was almost gonna make a joke about this being the Mario, like, that's that's the Mario movie money, but I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> the Mario movie came out, like, way after this, so. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. We prepared rooms for your toads as well. I hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. <laughs> She's so sus. Bye. Bye, Peachy. Bye. <laughs> They're so cute. I love how, uh, I love how angular everything is. Like, nothing is quite, like, the, the size that it should be, or, like, like, some of the sides are taller than the others. Just everything's very angular and um, mismatchy, and I really like it. Uh, I'll be right back, actually, though, because my, 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 my dog's outside. I need to go put her back in. Oh, be right back. Hello, everybody. I'm back. What are you talking about? The dogs on the bed, Luigi. 
It's... I know that it's supposed to be like a ghost, but it doesn't have ears and it's kind of weird. Willard Olsen. Will Willard. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are 999 happy spirits. Or happy, happy spirit, spirit, spirits. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Willard Olsen, who are you? <laughs> I guess I... I'm spacing out because I recognize your profile picture. I know that I know that I know you. I know that I know you, but your pro your profile picture is tripping me up, and I'm trying to figure out. It's wow! 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 <gasps> hey! Wow! <laughs> I I do not know that man. I know you. I know you. Hi, Shredder. Oh no, it's the Mandela effect. With the Bernstein Bears. Oh, but that one's happy though. I like that one. Willard was never... Was, Willard was never real. The accident was 10 years ago. It's time to let them go. <laughs> I know. Jump, jump scares for Luigi. Can't do that. His heart is so... His heart is sensitive. His heart is soft. Ouch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean this in the nicest way possible, but I don't recognize your name, but I recognize your profile picture, and I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> don't say ouch. This is what you don't change your name and then just show up and expect me to remember who you are. <laughs> Probably yeah, just he's just training for the FNAF jump scares. He's getting those jump scare muscles ready. Ew. Wait, hold on. Ew. Get all the presents. Don't laugh at me. You're laughing at me, and I'm con you're conf I'm confused, and you're laughing. That's rude. Pet the dog. But there's there's like gifts right here. I'm trying to get them. Igloogie, 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 Mayro, Pooch, and go to the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Some people, some people got big, big old booties that they need for the toilet. Sometimes. Did I get everything? I think I got everything pretty much. I'm not getting any more prompts. Igloogie. Woof. Woof woof. Time to rest. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's been a long day. Yeah, that toilet is massive. Well, Luigi's got a big old dumpy. Ah. Uh. I think I remember some people were complaining about the way that this game looks. Like they're talking like they didn't like that the the way that the the mansion looks compared to the first one because they were saying it was too cartoony. Speaking of big booties, DK is number one by far. You may touch it once. You touch it once. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh no, it's so spooky now. <laughs> oh. 
Look at the plants are gross. And the and the the, the tea is gross. The tea is knocked over. It's the scariest part. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks really good. Or I think they were talking about like the maybe the visual style of it just wasn't the same as the first one. Like it didn't have the same impact. Um Whoa! Bye. Um And I get that. I don't know, it's kind of Whoa! Oh, spooky. What about, what about? Oh, there's a spooky crow. Ew! The flowers smell like farts. They got fart stink lines on them. <laughs> the fart flowers from the fart farm. Ooh, bones! Delicious! Hmm, let's get that toilet- Whoa! Oh! <laughs> he, I love his how stiff he's all- <laughs> I think- I think I found everything in here. You better get out of here. The flowers are stinking up the place. Crows hold grudges. And so does Willard Olsen, apparently. The po it's the poop grabber. What did, uh... What, what did Cyril say? The, the, uh... The shower goblin that pokes your little booty hole of you. How did the room fill with fog? It was the flowers. It's actually not fog. It's actually the stinky stink of the flowers. They're just that stinky. They're so stinky they put a spooky fog in the room. And the stinky fog also smells bad. Ooh, this is a laundry chute. Oh, careful. That's like, that's like crucial. That has crucial to my character. How is anyone supposed to know I'm Luigi? She really did overpack. <laughs> oh my lord. Mm. Oh, whoops. Ugh, perspective. Ah! No! Oh, I see. Oh no, poor Luigi. He has a big nose. Ah, <laughs> he's got a pizza. No, it's not his nose. It, no, his nose. His nose is like perfectly. His nose is normal, actually. It's actually a normal nose. It's, it's pretty. It's 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 um, an adequate size for his body. You know how some people like we know when they're really tall, they got big feet. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you know what they say about people that with big feet. They wear big socks. It's his it's his hat that makes him iconic. If he's not wearing his hat, everyone's just like, who are you? Yeah, big socks. Big shoes. Big socks, big shoes. Huh, her room's honestly not even that bad, actually. Why was my room the worst one? Did they know just- did they do that just to spite me? I also have- yes, I do in fact have a nose, you just have to squint really hard. It's the anime thing. Anime characters have noses that are like smaller than a than a peanut. No, smaller than like a grain of sand. If you squint hard enough, it's there though, so it's fine. Except for any character designed by um Asamu Tezuka. He the, those characters got big noses, and I love it. Oh no, she's so spooky. 
Well, 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 if it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? Oh no! So spooky! Guys, this is scarier than Go Go Hamster Chef. I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you to accept my invitation. Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. <laughs> you see, there's someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas, like inviting you here. I'm such a good, I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce him to you. That's right, Luigi. I hope you're ready. Wow, she's a simp. <gasps> Oh! <laughs> Surprise, Luigi! It's me, King Boo! What? That old coot had me locked up tight in his lab! <laughs> but guess what? I got out! The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me, so she busted me out! Pretty lucky, huh? Did she do the thing, like in Sonic Adventure 2, where Amy's like, I'll let you out if you marry me! Anyway, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was ready, though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. <laughs> what do I mean by vengeance? Well, here, let me explain it to you. <laughs> well, here, let me go on a really long monologue about it. Trapping you and everyone in your little vacation party in frames. What? Oh, we were supposed to do it in flames? Oh, my bad. I guess I just wasn't really listening. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I guess we'll make it work. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I've saved it especially for you. Stay right there and put on your best terrified face, Luigi. Oh, <laughs> this is game over. <laughs> I'll make sure it's worse than your middle school photos. <laughs> run! No, run! No! <laughs> He's throwing things at me. <laughs> no, I, I have like a big zit on my nose. You can't let me do this. <laughs> Luigi, you, why are you debating this? Just go in! <laughs> Tini! Luigi's Mansion 3! Oh, now it's a spooky hotel. If King Boo is a ghost, how did he appear in the mirror? <gasps> That's true. I. Which, yeah, that's really odd, because, like, in other Mario games, that's how it works. So that's that's actually kind of strange that that's not how it works here. <sighs> I don't know, if you play, like, Mario 3D World and you see the ghosts, um... Sometimes they'll only show up in mirrors and sometimes if they're in if they're not in the mirror sort of realm thing Then they don't show up in mirrors. It's weird You know, I'm gonna be honest. I bet this place smells like good. Yeah, it's got that like weird clean wet smell You know what I'm saying? Like it's probably like kind of gross. Ah! It's okay it's okay, Luigi. It's okay. Um, I don't know. I, I maybe, I, maybe it's just I just like the smell of like being cleaning or being cleaned. Like I really like the smell of like towels and stuff. Like the smell of towels getting cleaned. There's something inside. What is that? There's something inside. 
I'm not getting like any sort of prompt to do anything. I'm trying to click other buttons to see if it does anything, but it's weird. There's just like a gem in there. Oh, it's my dog! It's my dog! Hello, dog! Oh, I guess I'll come back. It just leaves a gem in the laundry. So goofy. What a goofy little game. This game is so far removed from real life. I don't get it. This would never happen in real life. Just saying, guys. This is, this is ridiculous. I like to smoosh my face with hot towels. Yeah, I love throwing my I love throwing my blankets um into the uh um into the dryer just before I use it. Just for like a little bit, because if you do it for too long then you know, it's not it's not good use of your uh, electricity and stuff. But like it's it's a little, it's a lot of fun, I don't know. And then it's all warm and you just let it go. Whew. Oh, okay, so I can come I can come back and get that emerald thing later. Okay, cool. Excellent. Ooh, I'm getting a prompt. Oh, guess it doesn't do anything. This thing's shaking. What's shaking, bacon? Oh. I love mushing my face with hot towels. Hot blankets, hot towels, hot pillowcase. Yeah, go grab a snack, get comfy. Yeah! It's time for the new Fortnite dance. My sister showed me this video of Tigger from, from Winnie the Pooh um, doing like a Fortnite dance. <laughs> okay, so if I hold it down, it like, it like, stun stuns them. Ooh. Okay. What does this one do? Ooh. Okay, that makes sense. I got a Dyson vacuum. Wow! Okay, cool. Woof! Mm-hmm. Sometimes things just sometimes things just don't Willard Olsen are you Pope Franklin wait a freaking minute That's where I recognize your profile picture. Oh my god. I'm so stupid It's Pope. it's Pope Franklin am I right survivors is that Pope Franklin? Oh my god. Yeah! Don't lie to me! Are you- are you Pope Franklin? No, you- you have to be. Don't- don't gaslight me. Don't gaslight me. <laughs> maybe- maybe not! Never mind! Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. You got some pretzels! Okay, I don't- so they, they literally just have the same profile picture. Okay, I'm so sorry, Willard. That- oh, that's so awkward. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It took me- Ugh. Shows how much I know. Okay, so that thing is not working. I, you can give me a hint? Okay, okay. That's... I don't know. That's not a hint. That's your profile picture. Your profile picture is an alpaca. Wait, Paul Franklin. Oh, that just still makes sense. Paul Franklin is Willard Olsen backwards. Dude, that makes so much sense. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I said money. This, this game's too scary. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can hold your hand if you want. I'll make you feel better. It's you. Two. Okay. It's weird the things you can interact with, like. Yeah, this should this should be an eighteen plus. I mean, I should, I should probably set this as an eighteen plus stream. This is this is so this is too spooky. There's a hole. Ah, a. Oh, nice. No, my coins! This cutscene is taking my coins away! <laughs> also, holding hands is too scandalous. Check, please! I don't know. If, okay, so for some reason, I... Okay, so originally the name of the stream was gonna be Checking In. It was just gonna be called Checking In. Um, and then I came up with, I, I'll hold your hand, Luigi. And then, originally I was just gonna have the thing on, in the description say, I'll hold your hand, Luigi. But I thought that that was a better, but I thought that that was a more, like... I just thought that was a funnier name for title. So I just wrote, check please, in there. I don't know why, I just did, cause it just... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all, but... I just write- I just write how my heart feels sometimes. I just like- I just follow my heart. That- yeah, that and also I've been watching Adventure Time, so like, everything- everything is Adventure Time right now for me. So it's always Adventure Time. Okay. Hey, there's a there's another gem. There's another jewel. Ah, it's stuck though. I'm... Hmm. I guess that's just how it's gonna be. I like the hall of. Hall of Egress episode. Hall of Egress was like, oh yeah, like the, yeah, the Egress um, episode was so good. It was so trippy. I like um, Hall of Egress and I like um, the James Baxter episode. Oh my god! Alexa's just talking right now. Alexa will randomly just talk. She's so crazy. She's so quirky like that. I don't really understand where I'm supposed to be going. Is there a downstairs? No. James Baxter! <laughs> Well, I've already been through here, and it just takes me to another elevator. And then this is elevator B1. Achoo! I like the We Fix the Truck episode. I actually think I might have skipped that one. There was actually quite a bit that I skipped. Um... There was actually quite a few that I skipped, because I was mostly kind of trying to get through to get, like, the... The important episodes, but 
Um, there was a few that I watched that I was like, that sounds really interesting, so I'll go ahead and watch it. Okay, so I've been in here. So that's like the exit exit. Yeah, I'm an I am an episode skipper. Fight me, okay? I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. Listen, I was just I was just watching I was just watching um a guy on I was just there was a there was a post on Reddit that tells me that tells me what episodes are filler and what episodes are like important to the overall plot. Now that's not to say that filler episodes are bad or not I guess like not important because it's good for the characters. I just there was a there was just a few that didn't sound interesting to me and so I skipped them. Okay? Is that such a is that such a crime? Am I not allowed to do that? Where's the How do I get through there? There's a red gem in there. And so I clicked this and now it's not working, so I don't understand. Oh, there's a... Oh. Listening to Reddit is a finable offense in some states. I didn't watch the Minecraft one either. Okay, listen, I just wanted to watch Fiona and Cake, okay? I just wanted to get it over with. I'm actually going back and re-watching a couple of episodes that I missed, okay? I make, I'm making up for it. I went back and I watched a few. I'm just kind of doing it at my own pace, okay? So... <laughs> I'm sorry. And I honestly don't know what I was thinking, because if I was honestly following my logic the whole time, I probably wouldn't have watched the James Baxter either one, one either. But the only reason I picked the James Baxter one was because I know who James Baxter is, and so it made me- I thought it was hilarious that they had him as a character. So I just was like, yeah, James Baxter or horse, let's do that. I feel silly. I feel like I missed something. I I do I like lemon grab. I also like lemon grab. Don't don't look at me that way. Where did I even come in? Where's the door? Where's okay. What about this way? Okay, this is just a laundry room again. I love Lemon Grab. He cracks me up. I don't like tree trunks either. I'm glad we're on the same page with that because everybody in the show, for some reason, like the characters in the show really like tree trunks for whatever reason. Get your hot buns in here, girl. But like, I'm like, I I don't get it. I don't understand why people like tree trunks. She's crazy. No, no backseat gaming. Not no backseat gaming until I ask very nicely, okay? If you backseat game, I'll backhand I'll backseat hand slap you with my hand. With the back of my hand, I'll slap you with the back of my hand. I, tr I really tried with that one. I don't... <laughs> Maybe I just... Okay, so I... Okay, that's that makes sense. I didn't even move... Oh my god, what was... <laughs> oh my god. I was Literally all I had to do was move forward. I just saw the elevator and was all like, Oh, I'm gonna go down the elevator. And it took me to the same place. So... I kind of feel not very smart right now. I don't see rules in the description, so... Okay, listen, listen. I'll, I'll work on it, but you need to use your common sense, okay? You, come on. Well, I just established, I just established verbally the rule that you cannot backseat me or I will, I will take you, to, I'll take you to Pound Town. Uh, uh.
Wait, what, what am I supposed to do there? Wait, where's the ghost? Where'd you go? Wait, what? Wait, I'm supposed to do like a combo thing? Wait, what? I was right, you were raised in Pound Town. Wait, what? How stupid is that? What? Oh, gotcha. It that, that didn't that didn't make it very clear. It wasn't clear and instructions unclear. I I'm going to be honest. I think maybe it's because it's expecting me to have played this before, but like I I don't care, okay? I don't it's expecting me to have played the the other games, so I'm like maybe I would kind of understand what to do, but Oh, wait, I think I just sucked up the wrong ghost, homie. That was my dog. Nice. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. There's one more ghost. Yay! We did it! Okay. Ooh, there's something shiny over there. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Give me a little cutscene. First game seemed a lot similar, but it was also made like 20 years ago. Yeah, that's true. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come here. Come here, you. You're bright and shiny, so I guess that means you're important, I think. Ah! Making it rain. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, um, I watched, um, I watched the new Exorcist movie the other day with my coworker, with my coworker friend. Um, that was, that was certainly interesting. It was, so that stop movie was Luigi farting like Wario? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I tell you what, I think I watched the original Exorcist, like, a couple years ago. And that one was okay. I it was all right. Um, I don't know. They're kind of ridiculous to me, but like not in the same ridiculous as like Friday the Thirteenth and like that. It's like ridiculous where it kind of is aware that it's ridiculous, but like I don't know these ones. I feel like they take themselves a little too seriously sometimes. Um, but I watched the new one. Um, I can't remember what it's like, what it's called, but. Um, I don't know, it was like, it certainly just was a movie that existed, you know? It's just certainly a movie that exists. Oh no! It's, it's the guy from, from the other games. It's the guy from the other games. <laughs> Dr. E. Gad. He shows up in, uh, Sunshine too, doesn't he? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I'll do whatever my dog told, tells me to do. An exorcist movie not being scary? That's strange. I they aren't they aren't that scary to me. They're just violent. And everybody talks about how like these exorcist movies are so spooky, so scary. But like I don't I don't think that they are. I think they're just kind of violent. And that's it. Oh, I need a key. But I, th I already thought I already had a key. Maybe I used it for something else. 
He's also in Mario Party on the GameCube. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That's interesting. Is that the only one he's in? Because I don't, I don't think he's ever been in any other ones. Give me your money. Yes. Hmm. Oh, wait. There we go. Diddy. Oh. Sweet. What is your definition of a scary movie? Um. I don't know. I don't really find a whole lot. I don't really find movies scary. I. I guess like. I I guess like I kind of like. I don't really like jump scare type movies or like violent because I don't find violence scary. I just find violence. I just find violence uncomfortable. That's all. But a lot of people kind of conflate like violence and being, something being scary is like kind of the same thing. Like, okay, so that's where I am. I think, right? That's that's where I'm right there. That little red star guy. Hmm, okay, guess I can't go in there. <laughs> and I and I don't know, I kinda feel like those uh those exorcist movies are more violent than they are scary, so wait, did he find a way in? Hmm. Um, I like The Shining. I don't think Shining- The Shining is really scary. I mean, yeah, I guess it's scary, but like... Um, I think it's more like... Uncomf- uncomfortable. He keeps telling me to go in there. I can't, homie. Okay, maybe I'll go through the other room. Maybe, maybe I missed something. Oh, oh yeah, because okay, the map, the, the map's showing me that there's a, there's a secret. I think there's like a secret way in. Oh yeah, there's a button right there. There we go. Nice. That makes that makes sense. Well, you just like turned like that. That's that was weird. Why did he turn like that? <laughs> he like slid. Okay. Oh, now there's a bunch of wanted posters. <gasps> Oops. Yeah, I don't know. I find like, I find like. I don't think I don't think like a project in and of itself is can be scary. I like I think scary it's almost sort of like how when someone says <sighs> I, how, how do I describe this it's really dumb I was gonna I was gonna like say something like kind of like whoa oh what what's desen what desensitized you to horror? I don't know. I don't think I'm desensitized. I can like, cause there are things that scare me. I think scary. I think games are really scary. I don't. I just don't think movies are all that scary. Um, like I I, I mean I thought that The Shining was scary, but I don't consider it a scary movie. I think it's more unsettling than it is scary. But I, I get I can get scared. Um. I mean, I didn't think the exorcist was scary, and nothing really scared me in it, so... But... I don't know. Maybe I just haven't seen enough scary movies. I've never really been huge into scary movies, because I kind of think that they're all kind of the same. In a lot of aspects. 
Um, I think things are scary when I leave the theater or I finish watching it and I'm thinking about it. Or it's making me think deeply afterwards. You know what I mean? Like... If it- if like, if after- after watching it, I think about it and like, the prospect of it scares me, then... I consider it scary, I guess. I don't know. Like, but if it doesn't leave some sort of lasting impression on me, I don't consider it scary. And then at that point, it's cheap. Because a lot of the time, um, the only reason it, it doesn't leave an effect on me is because it's expecting to scare me in the moment. If it scares me later on down the line just thinking about it, then I think it's scary. The only thing, I've, thing I find kind of scary is body horror. I love body horror. I'm kind of a freak about it. I really like Junji- that's why I really like uh, Junji Ito. I love- I love his art and I love his stories because- uh, And- Like the process- like it's scary. But- I don't know. It's- 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 it's scary, um, but in the sense that, like, it's something you kind of have to think about, you almost kind of scare yourself. Oh, if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I'd expect to find here. Hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here now. He's so bossy. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. Momo is kind of scary. <laughs> At first, yeah. Same with, um... Um, what's Jeff the Killer? Yeah. Like, the image itself was scary, but then, like... And then, like, you start adding to it, and then it's just nothing anymore. What was that? All of your friends have been captured? And you can't just abandon them here, you say? Oh, you're the same as ever, I see. Bit of a handful. I know, imagine having friends. Egad's like, I can't believe you have friends. Makes it so much more difficult. Okay, I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. First things first, Luigi, we have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new poltergeist G... Oh, the poltergeist goo? <laughs> the poltergeist goo you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? Yeah, I'm naughty. We gotta get back to the underground garage. Let's go. Oh, yeah, having her head on the wrong way, crawling across the ceiling. Okay, um... To Egad's car! Hey, wait. I could've swore... Okay, there we go. I was like, I could've swore the door was just, like, right over there. <laughs> Why does he run like that? What a goofball. Hey, uh, Luigi, take a look over there. Uh-oh. Funny spooky ghost. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. Yeah. J jump scares aren't scares. It's, it's like, it's kind of counting on your adrenaline. That's about it. Luigi, I told you that the elevator is that way. Why even consider using the stairs when there's a perfectly good elevator? Ugh. Don't be sassy, dude. Okay? I just... You, you got, a guy can't accidentally go the wrong way these days? Jeez. Man, a guy just can't make a mistake anymore. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Luigi, look at that! It's money! And lots of it! Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we agree that money is still important. Ah, uh, capitalism. We live in a capitalist society. The ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyway. Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends, multitasking. Doot doot doot. Hmm. Of all the- Someone has removed all the elevator buttons. What's going on here? Hmm, a mystery for later. I suppose go ahead and give that B1 button a push. Okay. Boop. Imagine this. The true horror is finding a cockroach and a huge one at that. You gotta get the spray, and when you get back, it's gone. That is horrifying! 
Capitalism at its finest, baby. Yeah, or cockroach, a spider. Or like you think you killed it, so you hit it, but then you see that it fell, and now you can't find where it is. So it literally could have fallen anywhere. So you're afraid to sit on the couch because it was right above the couch when you found it. Like, cause what if it, cause what if it comes back for revenge? Maybe it's like you know, angry that you that you sprayed it or you or you tried to hit it. Ah! Oh no, he's laughing at me. How rude. That's what you get. <laughs> Is this it? I can't remember. Yep, there we go. Oh, he's got a little suit on. He's so dandy. What's that crawling on her shoulder? Stop. No. I'm not gonna check. No. <laughs> oh, he... Survivors has bee trauma. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fight him. Ow! Okay, uh, I will fight him after I find health. <laughs> uh, I'm cutting it real close right now. Okay. Where is he? Where is he now? He's gonna throw that, and then I will charge up my flashlight. And then I'll get him. <laughs> now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas! Bye, Groovy Bears. Thanks for coming. Have a good one. Mmm, come on! There we go. Easy peasy. Attack <laughs> out, I'm back in. Awesome. Hey! Don't, please, cutscene, don't get in the way of me getting those that health. Please, cutscene, please, 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 please. Okay, cool. Ooh, ooh, I got some buttons! Well, yeah. One, and five. Da -da -da. Fifteen. I'm a grandmother. Those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a, ge a ghost would have taken them. What do you mean you never would have guessed? I could have guessed. I was I was guessing the whole time. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting that I want to show you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Stepping what you're stepping in. It's gonna be really uncomfortable sitting down. <laughs> With all those buttons in your pocket. How are you supposed to sit in the car? <sighs> mm, down the hatch. Here we go. Wow. Oh, well, sorry. Gosh, so pushy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Yeah, I love the humor of this. It's so good. Jeez. Wow, do you think- do you think the ghosts heard us there? <laughs> cute- cute dog. It's the polter pup. Wow. 
Ready, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. Hey, <laughs> welcome to my lab. This is another of my brilliant inventions, a portable lab. It's sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. Nice. That's that's more than my house has got. I always knew I need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm, you wanna know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. <gasps> no way! I was me me too. I was too. Got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. Urgh, that includes all those ghosts you worked so hard to catch from me before. Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. <laughs> oh, man. Does does he have eyes? Oh, he, he does have eyes underneath. Oh, you, you can hardly see it, but he does have eyes underneath. What? They've released King Boo? Ugh, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you're the o you're our only hope. Against all odds, without any hesitation, and at any cost, get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collection, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? Yeah, yeah. Luigi, Luigi don't be a doormat, okay? You can keep the ghost for yourself. Alright, keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so that you can view the ghosts that you've captured. I know, so much work. Maybe I'm tired, maybe I just want to go home. Hmm? What's the devil look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Uh, yeah. My family. Oh, oh! That's right, I forgot about saving your friends and family! Completely and totally forgot. No, it's okay, it happens. I guess. <laughs> Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore this hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. Oh, man. Oh! Ew! 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 Ow! I, I do love the swirl glasses. I totally could pull them off. I'd look like a baddie with the swirl glasses on, for sure. Yeah, Luigi, don't let them push you around. They're great friends? I don't believe it. It's totally one-sided. It's, it's, just because they're good friends doesn't mean it's, it's healthy. Virtual boo. The VB for short. Ugh. Gross. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know? Yeah, it's really good for your eyes. It's... <laughs> Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves. <laughs> oh my god. You can use the VV to communicate with me at any time. <laughs> Maybe we can test out the communication system later. Press plus to look into the VB. It'll display your current objective for you too. It's quite useful. Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. Ta -da! The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? Oh, okay. Whatever. Ask for what it is? I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. No, what if I install it and it's a bomb? <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, I can't consent unless you give me all the details. Okay, we're gonna go explore the hotel, I guess. Mm. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Your swear jar is always tricks me to thinking an ad is gonna play. Oh, it, yeah, no! No, that makes sense! Oh my gosh, it totally does look like an ad thing, doesn't it? How trippy is that? Uh, okay, can't use that. I can't remember. Where's the door? I, I always forget. It's right here. Dunk. Okay. 
Mm. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I know I totally I totally get that. Ew! 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 Get away from me! Get away from me! No! Ooh! Quit chasing me! There we go. There's some big spiders, no thanks. I'm late, but here to please tell me you play Mario Kart Double Dash. Wait, what? Please tell me you'll play- you played Mario Kart Double Dash. I could. I don't think I did. No, I- I, I mean, I've never played it, but I could play it. Getting monetized and getting ads is kind of hard, to be honest. Yeah, I, yeah. So I guess you guys won't be seeing ads for me for a while, so, uh, you know, get comfy, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Now then, as to what that device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevators. Then it takes all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? Hey, I don't need you to tell me that. I could have done it myself. Okay, I'm just saying. You're so bossy. The unofficial ad block, yeah. Most, it's the most legal ad blocker you can get, man. It, oh, because Luigi's Mansion was originally a GameCube game. I think they just write. Uh, yeah, I did see that. Um, it was like I think it updated me like a while back that it was like you don't have to. Yeah, it's not so hard now. It's still hard, but it's not as hard as it could be. Say, is the original, is there actually, is the original Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, um, thing? No, I don't think, no, it isn't, because I think that they said that they were make, remaking the original Luigi's Mansion for the Switch. So, I don't think that they have the original Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube thing. Wait, oh, it, it is? Hold on. Uh, the map data is automatically sent to the VB, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Okay, whatever. Let me break it down. Oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. This guy's worse than Sheldon. When you're expecting, or you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you research new floors. Uh, one more thing before you go. You need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. Oh, it's on the game. Is it on like the GameCube thing, like for the Switch? Like, can I play it? Oh. Like, oh, like the, like the, the GameCube thing, like, there's a, um, if you have, like, the Switch, uh, Switch Online service, um, there's a bunch of different, yeah, like, the expansion pass. Yeah, yeah, I, I do know that. Yes, yes, there is, I could have swore. Wait, hold on. Oh, not for GameCube, there's one for, there's one for Game. For, uh... Okay, there's just... Okay, you're right. There is no GameCube one. I could have swore there was a GameCube one. Now I feel silly. <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, it's so sad. This is E. Gad, a resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? Mom, am I loud am I clear? Maybe for Switch 2. Ha! <laughs> Switch 2. GameCube was the shiz. I yeah, I used to have a GameCube. I I think I think that was the first Nintendo console I ever had was the GameCube. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling, and we will see your progress. 
Testing my invention is fun, but we should get back to work. Speaking of work, I have a job for you. Sounding myself as an old person, I just the conclusion that <laughs> that you played the OG GameCube. I did play the OG GameCube. Fight me! I played I played the GameCube that was on the um I played the Smash Bros that was on the GameCube. It was like my first game that I ever played. <laughs> um, I also played um I also played Sonic Adventure 2 on the GameCube. That's where I originally had it. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is Oh blast, what was it? Oh, you've got a map. You'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. <laughs> yeah, I played melee. The the music in that one was so good. Like the, the like the melee theme was so good, so so good. Um. Okay. So now I gotta go find Egad's room. Uh, sorry, I stepped out of the elevator. Not not really paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so I guess I'll explore. So that's the lobby. Plug Adventure Battle 2 with the Chow Garden was pretty hype. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, so fun fact actually, I so I've got Sonic Adventure 2 on um Steam. It was like it was on sale for like five bucks like a couple weeks back. So I got it, um, and then I went and I downloaded a bunch of Chow Garden mods. <sighs> They're gonna go eat out? Nice. The pretzels just weren't doing it for you, were they? Bye, super duper. See you later. Whoops. Well, that's well. Isn't that just nice? I think Jet's jealous. I think the, I don't know the way the way he said that. There was a tone. Good for you. Good for you. That that sounds like that you had a tone. I'm at work, so at least I'm at work, so I'll at least have this up for a while. Hmm. What do you do? Thirty more minutes. Okay. So I've already been to floor- I've already been to floor one. I need to be, uh, I need to go to floor five. Floor five is new. I sit in an office. The real question is, did anyone play the N64? No, um... No, I at least I don't have an I don't have like an N64 emulator or anything like that or like an actual N64. So an HDMI modded N64. That's neat. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we have an N64. I don't think we do. Doot floor five. Yeah, that one I, I did not. But but don't go around telling me I didn't play the GameCube, because I did. I think I even played, um... I'm pretty sure I played a Rayman Raving Rabbids game as well. I don't know why that took so long to load, that's weird. I had, it's been... It's been a bit, and it wasn't mine. Oh yeah, um... That is to say, I believe that um, I had a couple of friends that did have a 64 and they played, they, I think they played Donkey Kong 64 on it. Or well, like maybe Donkey Kong Country, I'm not sure which one, but they were playing a Donkey Kong game. It was the one with the DK rap at the beginning. <laughs> I remember coming, coming over to her house and they were all playing it. I play a lot of games that came out before I was born. Worked my way through the NES library. My little brother is the same way. He loves stuff that came before him. The Poltergeist Goo of yours has a new feature that I like to call Suction Shot. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. Use Y to fire the rubber plunger. You can stick it on flat and smooth surfaces. 
Do do do. Start shooting at things right away. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget to get my briefcase, Luigi. Okay, so it's that guy. Oh man. Yeah, I never even- I was not a PlayStation kid. I didn't play any of those PlayStation games. Hmm. Well, like, I think it's supposed to imply that this is how I- uh... Maybe it's because I haven't experienced the original, but the Nintendo Online just isn't it. Yeah. It, it's- in the- in the library, it's not even all that big, either. Oh, okay. Bolter Pup's saying, hey, we're right over here, bud. So, now I feel silly. Nice, okay. I- okay, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's actually kind of sad how very small the library for those uh, Nintendo Online stuff is. It's pretty disappointing. <gasps> Whoa! It's moving on its own. That's so spooky, guys. Guys, I'm so spooked right now. Do you think this was, uh, EGADS? What do you think this, this, like, it's blue and... I think this is blue toads. Maybe? This might be blue toad. It's a little sussy how this is, uh, closed like that. Get the, get the coins up here. Yeah, someone who really likes music, because there's a guitar here, too. I'm humping the cabinets. Getting spicy with the cabinets. Come here, rat. I'll eat ya. Oh, someone ordered a big little thing of ice cream in here. I'm trying to get this rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Oh my god, just when I think that I got them all. Just one pops right up out of nowhere. Uh, is this maybe, like, yellow toad, maybe? Got a little yellow bag there. Didn't they make the original Luigi's Mansion on, uh... On, for the DS? For the, or like the 3DS or something like that? Whoa! Come here, rat. Let me get you. Okay, I guess I got everything in here. Hello. 3DS was so cool. Dude, it... R r r crazy resistant. Um, do not ask why, but I've had my 3DS dropped in, like, the toilet twice, and I still have the original 3DS that I've had since, like... Forever. It still works. The screen is like only just like a little bit washed away, but you can still see it just fine. Dude, okay, I'm so sorry. I read far I was when I was reading it, I wrote 
I read Fire Emblem Awakening and Monster High on the 3DS. And I was like, Monster High? Could you get a move on, Luigi? You need to get to my room and recover my briefcase. Shut up, man. I'm figuring it out. Look up closely at the VB map. How do I... Oh, well, okay, well, hold on, dude. Maybe I want to explore, okay? Maybe, maybe I want to know what's up. Maybe I'm not in a rush. Ah! Hmm. The maid, the maid ghosts are so kawaii. I'm beating the ghost with the other ghost. Where'd it go? Well, where'd it, oh, there it is. Ow! Hmm. Bloop. Oh, yeah. Dunna. Oh, whoops, sorry. I I forget what buttons do what sometimes. There we go. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it got ported to my DS and was the GameCube OG. Yeah, it was GameCube, and then I thought it got ported. I was wondering if they ported it to the 3DS. I was just asking if it ever got ported to the DS or the 3DS or anything like that, because I could have swore it was. That's his briefcase. Oh, she's so shy. Oh, she she ate it. Okay, he had. Nice. Oh, can I shoot this? Is that what that's for? Oh. Bonkers. Oh, this has got a- this is a bag of money. Nice. What's in here? She's so pretty. So she went in the other room. Whoa, so spooky! Now there's now there's even more of them. Oh okay, okay. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I hate when they run away like that. Come on. Oh, well, he was right there. Shoot. Pardon me, combat's not my expertise. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luigi's handling this pretty good, all things considered. Honestly, yeah. It's like, oh, it could be worse. You know what? He's being very brave about it. Oh, no! Egad, my money! <laughs> hey, Luigi, sorry I was busy and just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status on my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there, get after her. <sighs> Fine, you know what? I'm working on it. She went to the other room. <sighs> I hear you here. 
They need to take their beating like little ghosts need to get. I know. Am I doing this right? Ah! Wait. No, she's slapping me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, she's a hard one to catch. We'll have to outwit her if we want to have any chance. Ugh. Great, now I have to do a puzzle. That briefcase is still as fat, flat and sturdy. Maybe you can grab onto it with a suction shot. Oh, that makes sense, okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Well, now this thing's in the way. It won't let me get into the bathroom. Oh wait, there's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all your progress up to that point is saved. Automatically. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to 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 door. You get the idea. I'd be saying 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Okay. Who in the world plays golf? Rich people. I guess not. She's hiding. I wish I wish Luigi could move a little faster. He's kind of slow. You know what? Golf, golf is probably chill. I don't see her. I like that they, that you can tell which toad is which. They've all got like different things that they do. They've all got their hobbies. Nice! We got her! Heck yeah. She's dusting me. How rude. Achoo. Oh. All right. Come here. Come here. Let me get you. Well, whatever's in there, he better let me have it. Sweet. If you're good at something, never do it for free. That's the lesson of the stream today, you guys. Don't be a pushover. It seems that you've also acquired a new elevator button, along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come on back to the lab. <laughs> do I have to? It's such a long way over. It's loogie, it's loogie time. It's loogie, it's wiggy time. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get good sleep, but like you know, I want to stay up and do fun things, but I don't have time because I have to go to bed. Because if I don't go to bed at a good time, then uh, I'm gonna wake up at four. I'm gonna wake up at like three o'clock, like all grumpy. Make sure to charge the homeless person you get food after you gave it to them because you're not a pushover. Exactly! Okay? Nothing in this world is for free. Nothing in this world is free. You gotta let them know. Doop. 
I love how he's just like, yeah, you know what, that's fine. It's like you're able to go to th third floor. Before you head there, bring my briefcase back to the lab. I need it. All my anime waifu pillows are in there. My Mikasa body pillow is in there. Ah, okay, game, take your time. It's like, oh my god, it's like being in a real elevator. Does Luigi get paid a living wage? I hope so. I'd be really sad if he wasn't. this way i mean at least there's lots of money around so i guess it's fine his aqua his aqua body pillow exactly aqua may be a mistake but she's the best mistake come on oh my god <laughs> this, this is what I wanted. The time has come to use it in battle. Too old to be out catching ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. Oh. Ta da! Pretty sure Luigi made millions after the first game. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor E. Gad. I give you, Gooigi. The development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Hmm? How is this going to help? Now, now, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm going to attach this to the poltergeist goo. Turn it around for me, would you? Whoop! Okay, it's all set up. Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. Okay. I need to settle on a waifu or I don't know which body pillow I'm gonna get. Dude, that's how I feel. Um, I feel like- I feel like every anime fan has at least, like, one of, like, those little nendroid figures. And I want one too, but I don't know which of who to get. I- I am open to recommendations. <laughs> I've caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh no! Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding, but I'm going to need you to stay locked up. Why, you ask? Because I want you to use Guiji to try to escape from your cell. You can activate Guiji with the R button. To recall him to his tank, press the R button uh, twice. Oh, creepy. Ta-da! Behold, this is your very own personal assistant, Guiji. Guiji can slip through twi 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 boom, tight spaces like grates or vents. His body is incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on, see for yourself. Okay. You. <laughs> there you go. He moves in basically the same way as you do, so controlling him shouldn't take much getting used to. Oh, and that reminds me. Pressing R once Squeegee is active will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. Okay. We're gonna try it. Oh, whoa, no! I forgot there was water there. Luigi isn't even remotely waterproof, Luigi. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. <laughs> you should find whatever's the cheapest and then form your personality around it. So true. Sometimes the cheapest waifu is the best one. Oh my god, no! Not again. There was water there? Discount waifus. Yeah, it's my dollar store waifu. Well, I thought- I thought that I could- whoa. Oh, okay. Maybe it wasn't that complicated. Ah. Like I said before, you can switch between yourself and Guiji by pressing R. Ah. Okay. 
Di tri tri tri. We did it. My dollar store waifu. Mmm. Dollar store waifu is just aqua. Well done, Luigi. I feel like I can let you run loose with Guigi. Alright, we're done with your training. At least for now. Let's go back to the lab. I would love to know how many Luigi x Guigi fanfiction there is. There's nothing quite like self cess to get, you know, to titulate the senses. I've been running the sensors in the lab, and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous-looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know you really want to find all of your missing friends, but if you want a break from that, you could head over to the tower. It's probably crawling with ghosts that you can catch. Go on and test your skills there. For science! I've made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab. Just select Scare Scraper and Multiplayer. Have fun! Okay, whatever. Oh, wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out the screen park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and want to have some fun. Up to eight people can play. Okay, I don't care. You're talking about multiplayer, man. I don't have friends, okay? I don't have time for that. I don't want, I don't want to do either of those things. I don't want to talk to you or look at the log. The Discord had an outside for word chat. Maybe I could post something. Maybe. That's a, it's a real bummer, I guess, huh? Real bummer. It's almost like uh, my my I'm my soul is my soul is a virgin. I have the soul of a virgin. Fudge, the fudge you just say? No friends, my butt. No, I have friends. I don't have friends to play this with. I'm just kidding. You're my friend. I ain't gonna. I, I ain't gonna be that way. Let me get the. Let me get the thing. Yes. Yes, Queen. Slay. 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 Oh, I wonder what happens when I blow on this guy. Nice! I get so much money. Bunka 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 bunka. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this one too. I feel like people don't have as many friends these days. My best with good friends. My friends, my sister's like three years younger and has like has like three. Three is like the perfect friendship number. Three is like awesome. You don't need a whole lot of friends. I'd rather have one good friend than like a bunch of bad ones. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess that's like how everybody feels, but like. Sometimes, I, I don't know, sometimes, like, you don't really need that many. I mean, I'm I'm not the type of person that really likes to talk to, ho like, too many people. So, like, I guess, uh, amen, yeah, amen. Like, I don't mean to be, like, Captain Obvious here. Yeah. Bringing veggie tales sounding. What about 15 good friends, though? 15 good friends? You're, like, God's favorite, okay? <laughs> but, son, you did, oh, but all you need is one. What? I'm not allowed in the ladies' room? Well, I don't want to go in the men's room. There's always, like, little sc scrappings of toilet paper on the floor all the time in the guys' bathroom. And I would and I would know, okay? I have to clean it every single day. They always like there's always like a little bit of like 
poop crumbs like in the toilet as long and there's like little smudges sometimes and then they leave a bunch of toilet paper on the floor okay it's not fun and they don't even have couches no, <laughs> i'm just kidding everyone's talking about how girls bathrooms have couches which i'm sure they do because you know it's for feeding babies but like i've never seen I think I've only ever seen one bathroom with a, not even, and it isn't even a couch. It's like, it was like maybe some like little cushioned, like, ottoman looking things. I'd almost compare them to. I, there, I wouldn't even say that it was a couch. It's bad out there. Pretty sure depression rates are at an all-time high, actually, and it's easier now than ever do- Because you don't have to leave your house. Yeah. It's so easy to just do everything, like... Have people do things for you, or have things done for you. Um... And, and it's really hard to stay motivated to get out and do things on your own. Um... That, and, you know, the things we eat elevate our depression and the things we breathe it's 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 no good it's his no bueno oh I need a key so I probably need to find a key from somewhere else Couple places on four or five, I probably have it checked out. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much setting ourselves up for failure. It's bonkers. Veggie Tales has some great memes. Did anybody else grow up on silly songs with Larry? Because I sure did. Yeah, Gorge just want to have fun, for real. Oh, I'm just so not- I'm just not strong enough. <gasps> oh, but you know who is, though? This guy. Yeah! Look at me solving puzzles, you guys! Okay. Look at me solving puzzles. I'm so smart. I love how the stream chat has nothing to do with the actual game half the time. Nah, sometimes we just play games and we just talk. That's just how it is. Oh. Oh wait, I think this is where I ran away from, uh... I think this is where I ran away from, uh, King Boo. Either that or there's just two laundry chutes. Heck yeah, we just vibing. Like, we just vibing. <laughs> hmm. Well... It says that there's something here. Like, it says that there's a- on my map, it says there's, there's a door here. <gasps> there it is! Oh, look at me. Oh, those are bad, those are bad. Okay, cool. I was like, I was wondering what those were. I was like, whoa, but they're so pretty. 
Hmm, I wonder whose room this was. Maybe probably just nobody's. It's probably just a, a person's room, you know? Get the money, get the money. Maybe. There's well there's like little there's like little money right there. Nice. Hmm. Well, nothing special, I guess. But now we know that there are secret doors sometimes. Oh. Well, I got two of them at the same time! I'm- what can I say? What can I say? I'm just a baddie. Okay, and then there's a door right here. Meow! The cat's talking. Oh, this is Mario's room. That's right. See? Yeah, this is the same hallway that I ran away from. In the beginning of the game. Very, very cool. Very spicy. Oh, he's got a lot to say. That cat of mine, he's got a lot on his mind. Ooh, that sounded like a- <gasps> wait, hold on. I just had a- I just had an epiphany of sorts. Oh, look at me. What's he- what's he got? What's he got to say? Ooh. I love it when my cats talk, cause like whenever they make noise, they don't really meow, they just kind of like- They make like a cooing noise, which is kind of weird. Okay, so it just looks like there was a there was just secrets down there, and that was it. Okay. I don't think I got a key from that. There's another room. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bruh, I just had a random thought. I wanna watch Ninjago. I haven't watched Ninjago since like forever. Like I know I'm like an ad whoa! whoa 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 whoa. Like I know I'm like an adult woman now, but Ninjago. I I loved Ninjago as a kid. Did did any of you guys also watch Ninjago? Cause that was a that was so good. Lego Ninjago dude, yeah. My favorite my favorite was Jay, but now I think now my favorite's Cole. I don't know why that changed. I know I can watch cartoons at any age. It's just about I don't know, it's just like it's you know, it's Lego Ninjago, so like it's just kinda like silly goofy. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Amen. Yeah, I know it. It's just, I don't know, adults watching Adventure Time just makes more sense than adults watching Lego Ninjago. <laughs> you know? It's sort of the same way as people, like, will give you, will give you shoot for watching My Little Pony. Even though you're an adult. Like, that's, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. The 
There's just, I guess maybe there's just like some shows you just don't watch. Um, I mean, okay, to be fair, I did say that I really liked Bluey, and that one is, like, definitely not a, not a cartoon that adults, are, like, should, like, openly watch, so, I mean, maybe. Like, I guess I shouldn't be too hard on myself about that kind of thing. Ah! No, thank you! That was a spooky spider, I didn't like that at all. There goes my favorite toys to play with sometimes. Lego is awesome. Yeah, you know, Lego is really good for. It definitely like requires like. It's good for your brain, but at the same time, you can just kind of space out. Bluey is meant for all ages. Bluey is good and all. Bluey is meant for is e for everyone for sure. Is this a is this a chest? Let me pop that boy open. Hmm. Well, oh, why does it say that there's a room? There's a room back there I haven't been to. Just gonna, I'm just gonna search every room. Search every room in the house. It says there's a room all the way back there that I haven't even that I haven't even explored yet. Yeah, right there. Hello. Oh, there's a telescope. How cute. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that actually got me. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh my god. No, that got me. I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, I don't really see the point in this, though. It's like, oh. That makes sense. Nice. I got a cool crystal. What a cute little area this is. This is giving me Animal Crossing inspiration right now. I don't think... I don't think I checked out under over here yet. There's many, there's many cool trinkets in the bathroom. Nice. <laughs> Yo, toilet paper money. Wee. All right, there's another vent, guys. So I guess I'll open up a gooey tea. I think. Boop. I can be solving the puzzles. Dude, look at me doing the puzzles, you guys. Aren't you so proud of me? Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay. Do I need to do something over here? It's weird that he only has 25 health. It's such a specific number. Didn't uh, have you watched Sergeant Frog? Yeah, that, that that was another anime that used to be on uh, used to be on Netflix. 
and I was when I was but a wee lad. Uh, I think I watched a couple episodes. I think it was actually one of the first animes that I had like watched. But the first one that I had ever really loved was Princess Tutu, which is also on Netflix. There was, um, back when Netflix was, like, first starting out, and so they just kind of just grabbed a bunch of random things. I... I don't under... I don't understand! Maybe... I don't think I understand this puzzle quite yet. Yeah, I don't think I understand this puzzle quite yet. I but yeah, I have heard of it. It was, and um I wanted to watch it cuz I thought that the art style was cute. Um and so I had my parents sit down and watch it because I wasn't allowed to watch anime because anime is just inappropriate, you know? That's just all anime by default is just inappropriate and you shouldn't watch it. Um but and they were saying that it was fine, but there was a couple of parts in it that little me was so uncomfy with. And I think it's so funny because my parents thought I really thought that it was something that I could handle. There's a secret place. Da -da -da. Um, I was very sheltered as a kid. Um, and my parents, like, I don't think that they had realized just how bad it was because what? Because like, I guess I was like so sheltered. Um, and like, there was just a couple of things that like. I just, like, I couldn't even watch Dirty Dancing when I was, like, I think, like, 16. I think my mom had me watch Dirty Dancing when I was 16 for the first time. And I couldn't watch it because I was, like, I was so uncomfortable. And, like, I think, like, that kind of intimacy was kind of, like, something that I was n nervous by when I was that age. There's a- there's a dragon with a jewel. Okay. So that's kind of why nowadays I'm very, uh, oh, I would say like vulgar because I never had that kind of way. It's better than being too attracted to it. Well, yeah. And, and now that's why these days I'm kind of more like vulgar and I've got like a, the potty mouth of like a middle schooler is because I never had, I was never really allowed to do any of that when I was younger. So, I, I didn't really learn how to use any of that wisely. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a whole room right there that I... that I... Nice. Hee 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 hee. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've known, I've known survivors since middle school. So like, yeah, there were so many things that like they would talk about, and I would, I would be so lost because I didn't, because I didn't know. And it was things that like I think like maybe kids my age like probably 
Maybe should have known? And I, and, you know, I've never really paid attention in, like, those, uh, you know, things like sex ed. Never really paid attention, because it always made me so uncomfortable. Ooh, speaking of uncomfortable... Well, that's what happens when you're like, you know, the first kid is like <laughs> your parents try a little too hard and then by the time they get to like the next kid By the time they get to like the next kid or like the third kid Like they already they've like they've already they already know and they know what they messed up with with the other ones I'm pretty much like the test dummy kid Is kind of literally how it feels So And my parents, you know, they, they always talk about it. They're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I was so sorry that we had, that things ended up this way. Same, same, yeah. So many spiders everywhere all the time. Not a fan. Speaking of fan, there's a fan in there with a little gem and I don't know how to get inside, so... I guess I just don't. <laughs> I guess I can just come back later. Oh, he's so nervous. He's so nervous. Don't be nervous, Ouija. <laughs> Test subjects unite, right? <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna try out this last little... This last little part. Oh! Some guys in here. There weren't guys in here before. Wah! Wah! Nice! I got an achievement. Dude, the idea of achievements in Switch games, or in Nintendo games in general, just... I'm just like, whoa, an achievement. Like, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, you can't, you can't really fault your parents for it, because, I mean, you're you, and... Yeah, the opposite problem, but you are who you are, and we like you as you are. Well, thank you. Even if I can be, like, ridiculous and sheltered and, um, chronically online and whatever. That's another thing. I'm super chronically online, and, I, and it's so cringe. Like, it's so bad. Because, like, I think that I'm fine, but then I, and then I, like, see all these people that criticize, like, like, and then I... It's like things that I do, but then I look at it because now that it's like sort of like when you see it for yourself, you realize how ridiculous it actually is. You know? It's like you don't know how weird or goofy it is until uh until you actually see it in person. And then you realize and you and I'm just like, "Oh. Like that's super awkward and weird." Like, I'm so defensive of everything all the time, and <laughs> if you have any social media, you should delete it. Well, time for the channel to go. Bye, guys.
No, it, I'm working on it. Um, I, I mean, that's why I don't like. That's why I don't go on Twitter. I feel like with how chronically online that I am, if I went, if I did go on Twitter, I would be like a way worse person than I am. So, at least there's, at least there's that. I could be worse. <laughs> Okay. Alright, well, it's about that time. I'm getting EP, so I think I'm gonna end the game here today. Wow. Alright. Wow, it's good to be back. I'm so excited to keep streaming. I've got some more ideas for games. Oh, it's Astaroth! Oh, it's Blight! Hi, Blight, how's it going? You're using a new account. <laughs> how many hours a day? I think uh, four to five is a good amount. Like, how many hours, like, online should you spend? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I spend that much time online. I spend a lot, of, like, on social media anyway, because I'm not, like, a social media person. But, like... I'm so, I watch so many YouTube videos. I watch so many, and I really, really like those really long, like documentary type videos. So, um, it's oh, it's the same account, um, just a new name. Oh, okay, very cool. I'll have to re I'll have to remember that. <laughs> um, just give me some give me some time to get used to it. I guess I'll just have to see your face more. Yeah, social media is just like that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, what can you do, though? <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. So, sorry about that. I know I, I've got a... Got an energy drink here, but sometimes it just doesn't do the job. Sometimes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good stream. Yeah, I was excited to do to play some more. Um, I have I I was like going through all my playlists because I make playlists for like all like any series that I do like like collections of games where you know it has multiple parts. Um, and then I realized I have so many energy drinks. Kill your heart, my dude. I I know. Well, and I've I've got this one that's kind of like light. Yeah, it's really not good for you at all. But I don't like coffee. But I don't like coffee. I don't drink energy drinks as much as I use as much. You know, I I only drink like one, and I don't drink one every day. I I think I usually buy like maybe three to last me the week. So like, I just have like three. Also, I'm like talking without my mouth moving, and that was really creepy and weird. Um, <laughs> tea has caffeine in it. Yeah, that's I know. I know t tea has caffeine in it. I love tea. I'm just it doesn't have enough. It just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't drink it as often as I do, for sure. I'll maybe I'll start drinking tea. It's just. Tea is, like, so warm, and sometimes when things are warm, they make me sleepier, even if it does have caffeine in it. I just, mm, I don't know. Maybe I should just start drinking tea in the morning. It'll probably help. Mmm. Mmm! -hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, you need the coffee or energy drink to stay awake. Yeah, tea, yeah, tea makes me sleepy. I don't, it doesn't matter if it has caffeine in it. It makes me sleepy. It's just because it's warm. It's the same thing as having, like, a hot meal. You know? You can have a hot meal and it makes your tummy happy. Oh, iced tea. That's true. But tea has to be hot. <laughs> tea has to be hot. Hmm. I don't really like iced tea either. <laughs> I'm just really picky about that. I 
I do, I do drink, I do, I do like to drink the tea from like my from my store. I usually do the do the unsweet tea because you know sweet tea they put so much sugar in that. Like I mean, not like McDonald's levels of sugar, but they do. There's still a lot of sugar in sweet tea, just fast food in general. So um, I just have normal tea, but it also makes me, but it also makes me makes me pee. <laughs> It makes me pee. <laughs> I I read I read that that tea makes you pee. So um I definitely am not a fan of the multiple trips to the bathroom after drinking after drinking tea. So you're right. I got I got to take care of myself. It's not good for my heart. Mmm. <laughs> Tea is so much better warm. I like a... Wow, I like a... Irish breakfast, and I put some milk and honey in it. It's, del Mwah, it's delicious. It's delicious. Um, and then I like lavender-flavored things, too. Lavender scents, lavender flavors. It's all good. It's just as bad as energy drinks if you put water in it. If you put sugar in it. Whoa, not water. Whoa. Um, yeah, I, that's why I don't drink the, I don't drink the, the sugar ones. Um, and we have, uh, we have, like, honey, like, not from the store. Like, I think, I think my mom actually says she's got, like, someone she knows that has, like, that keeps bees. So, that's where we get our bee, that's where we get our honey from. Um. And, I mean, that's a good replacement, I think. That's a good for sugar, so. That's what, that's what I do. Anyway, I got people coming home, so I gotta get going, okay? Thanks for, thanks for being here, everybody. And I'm, and I'm really sorry that it took me so long to come back. But I, I, I always have a lot of fun doing these, even if it is, gets me sleepy. <laughs> Heart problem, smart problem, yeah. Exactly. Who needs it, man? Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you for stopping by. Even if sorry, it, you had to show up all the way at the end. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Uh, be good. Uh, follow your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Be good. Follow your heart. All your dreams. Um. A cup of pure black coffee in the morning will wake you up. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll leave my breath stinking, like, all day. <laughs> Whew. So bitter. Blech. Blech. No, thank you. <laughs> Have a good cup of tea before bed, everybody. Alright. I love you, my silly geese. Bye-bye.